What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Marvel Studios Infinity Saga Avengers Endgame 2-Pack Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos. Now, the box art here is pretty standard. We've seen uh we've seen in the series so far. There's a look at the back if you guys want to read it. And uh yeah. Let's uh Let's crack these guys open. All right, guys, here they are out of the packaging. And scale-wise, I think they look pretty good. Uh, I think Iron Man's a little too tall, maybe. Maybe just a smidge. But uh, yeah, we'll get a closer look at these guys. Let's take a, a deeper dive into the uh, accessories they come with, starting with Iron Man. So first off, he does come with two alternate heads. He does come with the unbattle damage Tony Stark head, which looks amazing, I will say. Great likeness to Robert Downey Jr. The other head he comes with is the armored uh, Iron Man look. Not bad, not bad. Looks pretty good, nice and shiny. It's a little weird sm smudge on the on the metal there. It's kind of kind of lame, but not bad. He also comes with four interchangeable hands, two open hands or uh, blasting hands, I guess I like to call them. So you can put these uh, blasting effects in there. We've seen these a hundred million times. They're still, uh, they still, you know, do the trick, so I don't mind them keep, uh, I don't mind when they keep giving us those. Uh, he also comes with two fisted hands. And then on the figure himself, he has the snapping hand and an open hand to hold this accessory I'm assuming I don't know what he calls this thing but it is pretty cool um, yeah I like the blue shine to it translucent plastic it's always cool to see on toys and they, he also comes with this uh, translucent blue like shield you can put on his uh, arm there or something not bad not bad all right there's the, the Iron Man accessories let's uh, take a closer look at the Thanos accessories I forgot to mention, guys, for the head, if you do want to swap them out on the body, that whole neck piece does come off. So that's a totally different way of doing the alternate heads for the Legends. Don't know if they're going to keep continuing to do that, but you can remove the head from this neck piece to put it on other bodies if you want. I was going to try putting his head on the John Wick Diamond Select, but that figure is just way too tall and it would not match at all with Legends, but it might suit the head size that's the only reason i was thinking about doing it but uh yeah just thought i'd throw that in there forgot to mention that the neck comes out here is the uh thanos accessories we'll start off with his weapon here um i don't know what he calls this but it looks pretty uh looks pretty badass uh when he uses it in the movie it's pretty uh pretty cool uh yeah i did not get the other armored thanos build a figure so i cannot compare anything I actually missed out on that one, so that kind of sucks. I think I just didn't want to get all the figures from the wave because they weren't all MCU figures, and I was just strictly collecting MCU at that time. So, uh, yeah, but this weapon looks pretty good. The shiny metal metallic look to it looks really cool. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I said pretty cool probably a lot there, but <laughs> he also comes with the gauntlet fisted hand with the Infinity Stones on it. Now, that's a cool, uh, cool add. They could have just had the one hand, so that's cool that we have two of them. Uh, the gems themselves are okay looking on it, I guess. Uh, the red's really glossy, so has that metal look to it. So, that's cool. Uh, now, he comes with three different heads here, including the head that's on his, on his uh, body. But he has the straight face look. I really like that look. And all these heads look a lot better than the other Thanos you'll see in a, in a minute here when we compare. But, uh, yeah, the armored head is probably the one I'm going to maybe pose with this figure with. Um, I probably will end up putting one of these heads on the other Thanos, but we'll, uh, we'll see that later in the video. But, yeah, not bad. Happy to have more Thanos head sculpts, especially because, I mean, you can always, uh, if you guys take uh, figure photography, uh, Thor does cut off Thanos' head, so it's cool to have a couple... Heads laying around, <laughs> if you want to recreate that scene. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, accessories there for Thanos. Let's take a closer look into the figure. 
All right, guys, so starting off with Thanos here, um, we will take a closer look at his head sculpt here. This is the other head sculpt that he comes with. It's more of like a dusting away effect, I guess. But uh, I think it looks okay. Uh, I see what they like were going for. The armor right here looks cool, all battle damage, but that's the only part of his armor that's battle damaged. He doesn't have his shoulder piece on this side. That's probably because... Uh, I think Wanda rips it off of him, but uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy to have an armored Thanos finally in the collection, even if it's not the first release, whatever. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's swap his uh, head here with the armored uh, armored helmet look. Head swaps are pretty easy on these figures too. I guess it's because it's a build a figure it might make it a little easier, but. I think that looks awesome, man. Finally, an armored Thanos in the collection. I am having trouble getting him to stand in a few uh, few poses here. Just a straight up standing pose is getting is a little hard. There we go. We have him leaning a bit, but uh, I know he doesn't have the helmet on when he snaps, but I'm probably gonna leave it on because it just looks cool. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into. Uh, some articulation here so I'm assuming everything is gonna be pretty much the same as the Build-A-Figure but I never owned the Build-A-Figure so it's new for me uh, he has those double jointed knees he can kick his own ass which is awesome got another one double jointed not bad his legs come out that far so not bad not bad he does have ankle pivot can go up and down. He has the, the ab crunch. Not bad. He does have no swivel at the waist. Um, arms can bend here. They can swivel there. Double jointed. Somewhat. I guess they aren't double jointed, are they? I don't know. One, two, kind of. Not really. Uh, the head movement. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. So yeah, there's a articulation for Thanos. Let's take a closer look at the Iron Man and go over his articulation. All right, guys, so here is Tony Stark, Iron Man. We'll get a closer look at him here. He does have, uh, it's very similar to the the other figure released from the when the movie actually came out. We'll uh, compare them in a minute here, but uh, first let's look over the articulation. His arms are out that far. He does have that awesome ab swivel and crunch. It's really good for flying poses if you want to make him fly. Uh, the head sculpts I can't get over though, man. This is amazing. I think I'm gonna like you have to pose him with one of these Robert Downey Jr. head sculpts. Let's see if he can uh, do the on his knees pose from the end of the movie. doing the snap here kind of you can kind of go on his knees there <laughs> might have to perfect it on the shelf later but there's a look yeah he just falls over <laughs> but that's all right that's why that's what uh playing with it's all about gotta figure out that pose perfect it but uh yeah he looks great man i can't get over like how long it took for them to make this two pack and now that we finally have it but uh yeah i heard i did hear that this head is a little too big for the uh, old suited body tony stark which is a shame because i was going to put the other head sculpt on there but uh i guess we'll have to save that for maybe an, another armor or something but uh yeah articulation's pretty good standard iron man articulation he's got the swivels and everything double jointed arms for the most part but yeah, awesome figure, man. Awesome figure. Let's uh, let's compare our Iron Man's and our Thanos figures. All right, guys. So yeah, here they are next to the only other figures I have of these characters. I mean, I have a lot of Iron Man's, but I wasn't gonna bring them all into this shot. I just picked my four or my three favorites besides the new one. And for Thanos, I only have the three pack version that came with Doctor Strange and Iron Man. But uh, yeah. Height-wise, I think they all look okay. If you 
guys can tell, this one looks a little taller. The Mark, uh, Mark Five, Mark Three, Mark Three, I think. Uh, but yeah, even from this figure and this figure, you can tell that this head is very oversized. Look at his head in the helmet there compared to out of the helmet. It just looks a little too big. I don't know what they were thinking. They knew people were gonna wanna use this figure to head swap and put on suited bodies. But uh, as you can see here in a second, I will grab my suited Tony Stark. And the head size difference is just, like it's massive. It's a shame too. It's a real, real big shame. I was gonna get two sets of these, uh, this two pack, but I ended up passing on the second one just cause of that. But uh, it still works. I mean, you could still probably make it work on the shelf. He's gonna be on his knees probably anyways doing that pose. So it's just a shame that we couldn't use this other head to put on this body. That's the only downfall. But uh, who knows, maybe we'll get another suited body in the future that'll be a little bit bulkier and we'll move away from this size. But then they're gonna have to update a lot of figures. Then I don't know what's gonna happen. Missed opportunity on uh, Hasbro there, unfortunately, because the head sculpt is way better. Like, look at that. This one still is okay, but this one is just wow. Like, come on, no comparison. Just the height, the size of the head is a little too big. That sucks. But uh, Thanos over here will have uh, no problems swapping heads with uh, the previous version. Because we're going to try it right now. Here's the previous version. You can tell his eyes aren't like... This is probably just when photo reel started happening. So now they've like pretty much perfected it. So you can tell just by seeing those two heads there. Like which one looks more realistic, right? This one definitely. Uh, I don't think I'm going to give him the smirking face though. I think I'm going to give him the kind of angrier looking face and it matches the skin tone so that's pretty cool man so not only do you get a bunch of heads for this Thanos you can also swap them with your other Thanoses and I'm pretty sure I swapped the hand on this gauntlet with uh, the armored Thanos build a figure piece from the Ronin figure possibly or whoever else is in that wave but uh yeah Thanos and Thanos which one do you guys like better honestly I still think I'm leaning towards the OG version, just because, I don't know, maybe if the armor wasn't all screwed up. If I had the other bath, maybe it'd be a different different vote, but yeah. Another thing, too, I wish uh, I had the other arm from the Build-A-Figure Thanos to swap it, because I don't know if I want to have him with that, but at the same time, if you're going to pose him with Iron Man doing that snap, then you got to pretty much have that gauntlet on to make it kind of screen accurate, so not bad, not bad. Uh... I got another figure here to compare this Iron Man to. Recently got the Happy Hogan. And this is what the Happy Hogan and Iron Man look like side by side. Uh, not bad, I guess. This body's a little bit uh, a little bit bigger for a suited uh, figure. This is a new, I don't know if this is a new mold or if they've done it before, but the, the legs are definitely different. They're thicker than those. And the, the body size is a little bit bigger. So you know what? We're going to try a little head swap here with the undamaged Tony Stark head on this John Favreau Happy Hogan body. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. It kind of does, but not really. No, it won't go. She won't budge, as they say. Oh, there he is. It's on there, but he has absolutely no neck. So, if Tony Stark put on a few pounds here, maybe hit the gym. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Not that bad, but I don't think we ever see him wearing a black suit like that, so... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. He does have the blue one here, but... Yeah. <laughs> not bad, not bad. But anyways, guys... That's the uh, the end of the comparisons right there. All right, guys, and that concludes our Marvel Legends 2-pack review. If you guys liked the video, smash the like, subscribe. We're on our way to 500 subscribers. We got a pretty cool giveaway when we get there. 
And when we get to 1,000, then we got even a better giveaway. So the faster we get to uh, 500, the faster we get to 1,000, the more uh, awesome toys get given away. So don't forget to smash that like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.